So somehow I got hold of this Ruger LCP. It's a very tiny, cute gun. And uh, I've been carrying full-size guns my entire life. So uh, I want to see how well this gun shoots. I believe this only have a two inch barrel of some sort. And the uh, grip is so short, it doesn't even fit my hand. But let's just gonna see how this works. And uh, I'll be using the pocket carry holster. I've never, I've never pocket carry in my whole life. But uh, what, I, what I found out is the holster is actually really nice. If you put your hand in your pocket, when you draw, if you push to the back, the holster will actually be swiped off. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I'll see how it goes. So the first drill I'm going to do is group shooting at 10 yards. Again, I've never shot this gun before and uh, I'm kind of scared of shooting such a tiny gun. Let's see how it goes. The gun surely kicks a lot than I expected. So here's the first shots of the gun from 10 yards. Let's do that again, see if, uh, if I can make it tighter. So way better group this time. I push one shot down which I can feel it. My hand is really hurting because that's such a small gun, but uh, 10 yard group is pretty good. Let's move on to 15 yard next. So group shooting at 15 yard. By the way, I'm basically target focused throughout the time. I'm never focused on the front side because I'm so used to shooting a red dot. I'm actually, this is my second time shooting iron side pistol. So I don't even know at what distance this gun is factually zeroed at. But uh, yeah, the group opened up pretty much concentrically. I know I pushed several shots down because I'm just not used to the recoil. But overall, with that, with that such a small size of a gun, I think 15 yards is, is reasonable of uh, this group size, especially this is my first time shooting it. So I think I'm okay with it. So now I'm at the seven yard line, I'm gonna test the speed draw to first shot so uh, my hand will be in my pocket as the starting position I know I'm cheating but that's what pocket, pocket carry is right that's 136 way to the left <laughs> 162 I pushed down One thirty nine, one thirty eight. So my jaw is around the one thirty range at seven yards. So the four shots, the first shot I clearly pushed left, and the next two shots I pushed low. But the last one, one thirty eight, is pretty decent. So let's try it again. I'm still getting used to the gun. One thirteen. One oh five. One eleven. So the fastest time is one oh five. But if you notice the trend, pushing low left because the trigger is heavier than I thought and it's very hard to control the recoil. Well, there's no recoil on the first shot anyway, but because the trigger is harder, it's, uh, it takes way more finesse to press the trigger well, especially under a time constraint. So I probably need to dry fire a little bit more just to get used to, to the trigger. 125. 129. 127. 127. So this time I'm very consistently 
achieved the high 120s and the hits are dramatically better because I paid special attention on smooth trigger pull. So I'm at the five yard line now. I'm going to draw, then fire one handed two shots at the target. My hand is hurting because the gun is so small and the hits generally is low because I think I overcompensated it because the recoil is, is a little bit uh, drastic comparing to my carry gun. Let's do this again. I'm going to focus on the smooth trigger pull. Especially on this tiny gun, trigger pull is key. So I think I'm able to get just under two seconds. Shots are significantly better because I focus on the gradual trigger pull. So pretty good. So now I'm at the three yard line. I'm, I'm going to do a classic failure to stop drill, which is two to the body and one to the head. And see how it goes. So three shots, 198, 179, and 192. So the body shots are okay, but the head shot, I missed one. Those two are too high, so I might need to look a little bit down due to the offset. I'm going to do two more strings of this. The key is to maybe look lower on the head to uh, counter the offset. I have no idea what the offset is anyway, but. 176. 191. So 176 and 191. Body shot is perfect. Head shot is perfect, but I missed one for some reason. I think I like the re well, I think I like the recoil drive me too high up, but overall I think it's a good progress. Especially this is my first time shooting the gun. So the last drill I'm going to do is called retreating build drill. Upon the timer, I'm going to draw my gun at the three yard line, fire six shots as I am retreating backwards. So six shots, retreating in three, in three seconds, pretty good, all alpha. That's six shots in 2.79 seconds, again. Or alpha, really nice. I'm going to push the speed a little bit on this one. See how, see uh, if I can get away with something. That's very spicy. That's 239 for six shots. One shot push low. The rest is pretty good. This is the first shot, by the way. The rest, when I'm zooming to the spot, it's really good. I'm going to go nuts on the last round. Okay. See how fast I can get with this baby. It's so tiny, it's so cute. It doesn't even look real, it looks like a toy gun. <laughs> That's 2.1 seconds. Let's go, baby. One shot push down, the rest is really good. All alpha hits. So, I think I fired about 80 rounds this morning. I've never live fired this gun in my entire life, so I think it might be the shooter, not a gun, but but a bigger gun makes it easier to shoot. The ceiling is way up, and uh, by the way, the entire session this morning, I've never focused on the front side. I just look at the spot, 
on the target, then the arm side lines up perfectly, okay? So try target focus if you haven't tried that before. Again, such a tiny gun, probably only a two inch barrel and my, and my hand is hurting because the gun just kicks so much. But uh, with good fundamentals, you can, you can make it work. 